Hey everybody, it's Matt. It's been about a year, I think, since I did my last video. Um, and, well, now I'm back. I noticed that I've been getting a ton of views on my What is Binary Search, which is a similar type of video to this, um, where there's no live coding. Uh, it's actually the number one result on Google for videos when you put in, you know, binary search. So that's pretty exciting. I noticed the other videos didn't do as well, so I'm going to try a few more in this format and you know we'll kind of see what the results are. So I definitely suggest, if you can, share this with people. Alright, what is the observer pattern? Um, design patterns are a very integral part of programming. Uh, you'll always run into them even if you don't know what they are. And the observer pattern has become very popular on front-end frameworks. Um, and it's really good. I like it. So let me give you a brief overview. Okay. So let's take the situation of a reporter, and he's somebody that is a freelancer. So he reports to CNN and MSNBC and everybody else. That's these guys over here. So he's independent, and it's up to him to get the latest on the ground news. So the problem is, is that there's a big story, and the first reporter will call him and say, hey, what's new? Second reporter will call him or excuse me, I guess the second news bureau, whatever you want to call it, and the same thing with the third one. So they're all placing calls to him. But the problem with that is that he's trying to investigate, and he's got other things to do. So a lot of times he's busy, or there's just no news. He's waiting on things. So, okay, so why is this bad? Well, first of all, it wastes the reporter's time. He's spending time answering voicemails, calling these people back when really there's no news, and it takes time away from his being able to go out and find more information, right? Now keep in mind, I'm giving this analogy so that you can think of a real-world scenario that is similar to what the observer pattern is. Okay, so why else is it bad? Well, it also wastes the news center's time because they're calling this guy when they really, there's probably a better solution because they're just getting his voicemail half the time, right? Because he's on the phone with the other uh, news centers. Okay. So, what's a better solution? Let the newsman contact the people who want to know when he gets news. So, instead of the first way where they all call him, he says, I'll tell you what, I'll put you on a list and I'll contact you guys when I get any news. So, that's a much better solution. But the question is, how does that apply to programming? All right, so let's take this example. Pretend this is a web page. Um, and here we've got our little tax rate, 5%, which would be a phenomenal tax rate if we could get it, right? Um, and the income of a person. And then over here, we're just going to provide the total amount, dollar-wise. So when we go to income, basically, we have to have it let us know when a person changes the values there, right? So... To make our analogy work, let's put these two guys back. We have our, the income is the reporter, and then this total over here is the news center. So it doesn't make sense for the news center to constantly pull this text box, this income text box, because nothing happened most of the time, and you're just wasting cycles. It makes a lot more sense for there to be a hook or for the news center to observe what the reporter's doing, so to speak. Um, so that's exactly how a lot of front-end programming works. Because what happens here is, we'll get rid of those guys. So as somebody enters income is 60000 then the total will get a notification that the income's value has changed. So it'll go from 0 to 3000 So that's essentially how this works. Income basically total will register itself with income and say hey you know give me a message when something changes and so income will send total hey this thing changes do what you want with it and then total can say okay great well what's the current income then it can look at the tax rate up there on the top left and then calculate the new value that's a much more efficient use of your programming space more or less hopefully that makes sense so what would this look like code-wise? Well, let's have a quick look. Okay, so we have this class text box. And to, to really fit the observer pattern, um, you, you more or less need to take a list of listeners and be able to add and remove listeners. 
So you would have an array list or an array or something to that nature where you can keep a list of listeners. And then, and that's basically, well, I mean, if we look at the first method, allows us to add a listener. Second method, remove a listener. It's pretty simple. Um, and then the third one, we have an event on that text box, which is the key press. And what do we do? We go through each listener at that point and send a message that, hey, a key was pressed. This makes things a lot easier rather than just having one thing bound to a specific value. So in rather than just having one listener and there being a lot of you know, uh, coupling between the two, by having an arbitrary amount of listeners or an unlimited amount, um, it makes communication, uh, it makes the whole thing a lot more maintainable, let's say. So as an example, on your page, you might have some place where people can enter their name. But you might also have four places where it needs to display the name on the page. Well, if all of the items add themselves as listeners, then they're all going to get an update. Rather than you setting like timeouts or something, trying to say, hey, every one second, why don't you pull what the, you know, what the text box is? Okay, so that's pretty much the end of it. I hope this kind of makes sense, essentially for what the purpose of the observer pattern is. It gives us a better use of our resources and kind of keeps things orderly. We can, have, we can add listeners and remove listeners as needed. So basically somebody can sign up any of these news anchors, excuse me, the news centers can sign up and if they want, they can receive notifications. So it's a better use of everybody's time. Okay, guys, um, I try to share this video if you find it useful. And uh, if we get a good response, I'll try to make some more. Okay, take care.